Hey guys, it's Mr. Crayfish and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Controllable. So Controllable is my brand new mod which adds in controller support into Minecraft and it's a little bit um, a more of a setup because it's not just only installing the mod itself but it's also you know connecting the controller up and then making sure that you know it's actually selected and you can use it in the game so we're going to be going over you know from scratch how to install forge how to install the mod and then how to set it up so let's go ahead let's get this started right now so the first thing that you want to do is open up your minecraft launcher so yeah this is for java edition only um, i should mention that and what we're going to do is you want to come up here to launch options now if you don't see that just press that over to the right there and it should bring up this menu here go to launch options we're going to click add new here uh, we're just going to call this controllable we're going to select 1.12 now depending on the version uh, that controllable is released for maybe um, the current version is 1.13.2 but um, the one that I'm looking for is release 1.12 and uh, I should probably turn off snapshots hold up let's see if I can turn off um, snapshots here yeah let me just do that real quickly let me just do that again so controllable and we should be able to see it a lot easier now so we're looking for release 1.12.2 here because we are installing it for 1.12.2 I'm just going to update my screen so it's at least 720p here. There we go. And I'm also just going to do a custom directory here. You don't have to do this, but I prefer to do this. All right, there we go. We're going to press save. And we're going to go back to news here. And you want to find that profile. So click here, find that profile we just created, controllable, and then run the game. So we need to run 1.12.2 at least once in case you haven't done it at all if you have run point one, one if you have run vanilla 1.12.2 um, you can actually skip this um, I should I should have mentioned that a little bit earlier so here we go 1.12 is loaded the vanilla game uh, we can go ahead and just quit that now the next step is to download forge so this is what um, modders use in order to load up mods and make them compatible um, otherwise you would only be able to install one mod at once so I'll put a link in the description for this and make sure over here because we're installing for 1.12.2 that it is selected there and then what you want to do is come to the recommended section here and you can either use uh, Windows installer or installer. Uh, installer will work on any operating system whereas the Windows installer will work exclusively for Windows only. Uh, I'm actually going to do the normal installer there so I'm just going to click that. Um, if you use the Windows one it's completely fine as well so don't worry. And it will bring up a page like this so you'll need to wait I think five seconds so don't click on anything else just make sure you go up to here and click on skip and then that is going to download uh, Forge now. And something that I always mention in these installation tutorials is to be careful of where you are downloading files from and what you actually click on so make sure you follow those steps where wait five seconds click skip here now chrome will warn you that um, you know this type of file can be harmful um, the only links that i put in my you know like videos and that type of stuff is like either from my website from curseforge or like links that i've actually checked so you guys aren't actually going to be downloading any viruses um, if you're downloading mods from any other website, if you're downloading, sorry, my mods from any other website besides my own or CurseForge, um, you know, I don't have control of that and they could be viruses. And as I've already mentioned in these tutorials, I make sure these links and files are safe so you guys don't get into any trouble. So go ahead, press keep there. And then once that is finished, we can actually go ahead and I think we can just straight up click on it from there and it should pop up with something like this we're going to be installing the client and um, let's have a look here install this so this is something oh is that okay that doesn't matter too much that doesn't matter too much let's go ahead click install client press ok there we go and then what you want to do is bring up your minecraft launcher again go to launch options and find that profile we created so click on that we're going to go here to version and we're going to change this so what we need to do is search for that version of uh, forge we just installed and if we actually go back here uh, if we have a look at this number here it says 2768 
All right, so keep that in mind when we're going down the list here. And I'm pretty sure it'll be at the bottom. So we're looking for 1.12.2. And it looks like it's this one here. So 1.12.2. And at the end here, we have that 2768. So that's the one we just installed. Click that. Press save. Go back over here to news. And um, we're going to run this once. So it should load up the game now with Forge installed. And it, should have, it shouldn't have any mods installed at this time. Just kind of, uh, it will set it up and load all the libraries if this is your first time actually loading it. There we go. And it should be successfully installed if you see Powered by Forge here. And you should see like a mods list now as well. So this is just like um, internal mods that just... That just, that, that's just how it is. <laughs> Don't question. Um, so we're going to quit the game again and now it's time to download Controllable. So Controllable luckily doesn't need any sort of library, it's just you know standalone. So I'll put a link in the description. This is actually my website here. So as I mentioned, um, you know, if you're downloading my mods from any other place besides my website, uh, sorry, if you're downloading my mods from any other place besides my website, it may be a virus. So only download from my website or Curse Forge. Um, so this is the uh, controllable page here. We're going to scroll down some screenshots if you want to have a look at that. Uh, but we're specifically interested down here. So downloads 1.12.2. Click on that. And it's going to start downloading the file here in a couple of seconds. There we go. It's now downloading, and again, it comes up with a, a warning, but as I mentioned before, you, you already know my stance on that, you already know my stance. So let's go ahead, let's drag that onto my desktop here. And what we need to do now is put this into that mods folder, uh, into the mods folder. So if you don't know what the mods folder is, it's basically, you know, these you put these files into that folder and it will launch it up. So let's go back to that. Um, open up your launcher, go back to launch options, go to controllable, and then what we want to do is I'm pretty sure we click on here at game directory, click on this green arrow, and what is, that is going to do is open up the, the Minecraft folder here, and you'll see a folder right here called mods. Simply just drag that jar file into there, we're going to close that off, and we have successfully installed it, so click save, go back to news, and click play and we should see that controllable will now be loaded and if we go ahead over to mods here we should see in the list if you've successfully installed it we should have controllable at the bottom there so now we know it is working we can go to options here and you'll see next to controls we have this new icon so basically this is the controller selection menus and here we select our controller so I'm actually going to be using a PS4 controller but from what I know what I've what I've been reported to by so far is that um, Xbox 360 works Xbox one controller works um, the Nintendo switch pro controller for the switch works I've had a couple of third-party controllers that I've actually plugged in and they work so Pretty much most controllers will work. I should note that a PS3 controller unfortunately will not work and it's kind of out of my control. Um, there is uh, kind of ways to get it to work but it's very hacky and doesn't really work straight out of the box. So that is why I'm kind of, you know, um, regarding it as a non-supported controller just because of the extra steps that are required in order to actually make it work. But what I'm going to do now is plug it in, so you can actually connect it through wire or you can connect it through Bluetooth if your computer supports it. So I'm going to plug mine through USB here, so I'm going to plug that into there and then just plug the other end into my controller. And there we go, my controller has shown up on the list here as I plugged it in. But we're not done yet, what you need to do now is actually select it, so you click on it right now with your mouse and it needs to have a little tick mark there and this will be used as the selected controller so once you press select it will now get input from that controller so I'm actually not using the mouse anymore I'm actually using the left thumbstick on the controller here in order to uh, in order to move the mouse around so we can press X there to create or to 
to basically click and create a new a new world um, you will have to still use the keyboard in order to type out things so test world let me type that again create new world and there we go controllable is now ready Ooh, there we go we have it installed and a cool thing as well is while you're actually in game and you you know you unplug your controller or you plug it in you actually get a cool little notification if a controller was disconnected or you know if you actually plug one in if you want to change it in game without having to exit to the main menu you can simply just go to options again click on the controllable icon here and change it mid game if you do unplug it mid game you will have to reselect the controller um, one thing that will happen is if you do start up Minecraft with a controller already plugged in, it will automatically select it and you don't actually have to go into that menu every single time. So just a quick tip when you do start up the game with this mod. But that is going to end off this video. Hopefully this showed you how to install controllable and set it up. If it did, I would appreciate if you go ahead, drop a like down below. Also. Um, subscribe as well so you can keep up to date with all my mod updates and installation tutorials like this and I'll catch you guys for another video real soon. Bye!